Overweight and obesity are increasing in present decade. Moreover, obesity is also associated with several comorbidities including diabetes, cardiovascular disease, heart disease, obstructive sleep apnea and cancer, which are among the leading causes of death in the world. In light of this epidemic, researchers are constantly searching for effective tools to help everyday individuals lose weight and keep it off. The area where most individuals struggle with fat loss is dieting. It could be that the diet makes them feel restricted and not deprived. And it could also be that the diet is leaving them feeling hungry all the time. Today, we discuss one simple food you can add to your diet. The food is a form of carb, known as resistant starch. What is resistant starch? As the name implies, resistant starch is a form of starch complex carbohydrate that resists digestion in the small intestine and undergoes fermentation in the large intestine. It arrives intact in the large intestine and it can only be broken down by specific healthy gut bacteria. Resistant starch is found in a wide range of natural foods. You just have to know how to cook them. In fact, you probably have some of these starches in your kitchen right now. Oats, beans, lentils, peas, plantains, seeds and unripe bananas, sweet potato, potato are all high in resistant starch. Cook some pasta or white rice and let it cool overnight in the refrigerator. By the next day, some of the natural starches in the food will have transformed into the healthier version called resistant starches. When these starches hit a certain temperature and then cool, the water turns gelatinous. There is an exchange process going on there called retrogradation which makes the starch indigestible. There are five types of resistant starch. Type 1 physically inaccessible whole or partly milled grains, seeds and legumes. Resistant starch 2 type raw starch granular structure. Raw potatoes, green bananas, some legumes and high amylose corn. Type 3 retrograde starch Example, cooked and cooled foods, example, bread, rice, pasta, potatoes. Type 4, chemically modified, foods that modified starches have been used, example, bread and cakes. Type 5, starch lipid complex, amylose lipid complex, amylose containing starch. Different types of resistant starch can be present simultaneously in the same food. Moreover, how a food is cooked can also impact its resistant starch content. If you purchase a green banana at the grocery on Monday and allow it to ripen over the course of the week, the resistant starch is present when the banana was green will decline as the banana ripens due to the resistant starches converting into regular starches and sugars. Health benefits of the resistance starch. Number one is support weight loss and increase satiety. Research has found that consumption of resistance starch can increase the release of gut satiety hormones, leptin, and increase the fasting levels of another satiety hormone in peptide tyrosine tyrosine, which is PYY. PYY is a peptide that in humans is encoded by PYY gene. PYY is a short 36 amino acid peptide released from cells in the ileum and colon in response to feeding. In the blood, gut and other elements of periphery, PYY acts to reduce appetite. Other studies indicate that ingesting 30 grams of resistant starch per day for 6 weeks can help decrease hunger hormones like ghrelin and reduce snack 
both of which help boost weight loss. Resistant starch also contains fewer calories per gram than regular starch. Resistant starch contains 2 calories per gram while regular starch contains 4 calories per gram. Number 2 health benefit is improved insulin insensitivity and lower blood glucose. Hyperglycemia and insulin resistance are hallmark features of type 2 diabetes, obesity and metabolic syndrome, three of the biggest health epidemics today. Since resistant starch is not digested in the small intestine, it does not raise blood glucose levels to the same degree that eating regular carbohydrates or simply sugars do. Research has found that consumption of resistant starch may improve insulin sensitivity independent of gut bacteria and decrease postprandial uh, blood glucose after meal blood glucose. So resistant starch may also help you stabilize blood sugar levels throughout the day. Number two health benefit is enhanced fat burning and lower cholesterol. It has also been noted to increase fat oxidation and reduce fat storage in adipocytes. In other words, research finds that consuming resistant starch can increase the body's ability to burn fat for fuel while also reducing how much fat is stored in fat cells. Number 4 health benefit is promote gut health and lower cancer. Gut health is important for skin health, good mood, immune function and physical performance. The resistant starch continues its journey through your gut and arrives at the large intestine. Here we see that resistant starch has become exposed to the healthy bacteria of the gut microbiome. As these starches ferment, they act as a prebiotic feeding the good bacteria in the gut. Good microbes are essential for proper digestion, immune function and intestinal health. This species of bacteria specialize for breaking down resistant starch. This breakdown process provides the bacteria with the fuel they need to survive. As they use the starch for energy, they release small carbohydrate molecules. The neighboring bacteria feed on these carbohydrates. As the bacteria feed, they excrete even smaller molecules as waste. One of the final waste product is short chain fatty acids called butyrate, an energy source of your body. Butyrate may block the body's ability to burn carbohydrates. Jenine Higgins, PhD Nutritional Research Director of the University of Colorado's Adult and Pediatric General Clinical Research Center, explained that this can prevent the liver from using carbs as fuel and instead stored body fat and recently consumed fat are burned. As the butyrate builds up, it is absorbed by the large intestine. The presence of butyrate encourages blood to flow into the vessels of the large intestine, keeping the tissue healthy. If your diet includes enough resistance starch, these cells will use butyrate as their main source of energy. The molecular surface of the intestinal cell is covered in special coatings that actively pump butyrate molecules into the cell. Once inside, they can be harvested for energy. In addition, butyrate has other benefits. Intestines are sensitive to DNA damage caused by environmental factors. This cell DNA has been damaged resulting in a mutation. This can accumulate over time as the cell divides, which could lead to colorectal cancer. But a steady supply of butyrate allows the damage to be more easily detected and the cell can activate a suicide program in response. Because the damaged cell destroys itself, it can, cannot progress to form a cancer. A stark microbiome is unable to protect you from cancer. By eating foods rich in resistant starch, you can nourish your microbiome and improve your health. Boosting levels of butyrate promotes cell health in the colon, reduces inflammation and decreases your risk for colon cancer. Plus, the excess short-chain fatty acids are dumped into the bloodstream where studies show that it increases insulin sensitivity. 
if you are looking to enhance your weight loss journey consider adding more resistant starch rich foods into your diet as is the case with fiber if you are looking to increase your intake of resistant starch do it slow and steady at first resistant starch should be eaten in small amounts slowly increase the amount otherwise there will be cramping gas or bloating the implication of resistant starch go beyond your dropping a few kilos nutrition leaders and government agencies are beginning to recognize that resistant starch might have dramatic effects on public health not only helping to thwart the obesity crisis but also offering new ways to treat digestive problems diabetes and even cancer all with food if researchers are right we could be on the cusp of a new kind of dietary revolution where nutritionists prescribe specific carbohydrate for major ailments and resistance starch gets purposely added to packaged foods